Hello everyone, it's me ESMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the retro type preset. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll show the settings of this preset. And this one is for the Lightroom and the Photoshop as well. So let's go to the tutorial. Here I'll open up an image from the my home panel and I downloaded this image from devinan.com and I'll provide you the download link in my video description. So here the image, just drag it and drop in a plus sign and then going to the filter and camera filter. So this one is another plugins of the Photoshop. I am using the version Photoshop 2021 and the camera 13.0.2. And you are getting the similar settings like um, Lightroom and uh, here is a small menu going to the load settings options. Now I made a preset for you guys which is the retro and I'll import that preset for you. Okay, let's see the settings what I have done over there. Here the temperature plus 1 and exposure 0 0.60, contrast 0 and highlights minus 68, shadow plus 71, whites plus 42. And here minus, 30, uh, minus 3 for the blacks and texture plus 35, clarity plus 27 and the vibrance plus 11 and saturation minus 8. So one thing is that this example image and your photography images light setup and the shadow uh, couldn't be same just because of this uh, photo here used uh, one spotlight uh, it might be that your photography is used by the uh, multiple point lights from there but one thing is that you can customize and you can adjust the light by using this exposure slider or the contrast slider if you need and here the vibrance and saturation you have that options to change it out but after that going to the basic and going to the curve now here the curve point the input value 0 and output value 35 input value 41 and output value 40 here the input value 118 and output value 104 input value 199 and output value 183 and here input value 255 and output value 242 that's good in the curve after that going to the detailing option here the detailing 33 and the noise reduction 17 and color noise 18 here the color mixture you are getting the hue saturation luminance 3 points 3 things hue which color will be defined with that and the saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color here the hue plus 25 orange minus 13 and yellow minus 60 plus 62 for the green and the aqua 69 and the blue minus 20 here the saturation 19 and the orange saturation minus 19 yellow minus 9 green minus 2 aqua plus 64 blue plus 27 actually minus 27 that's why you're getting the down blue tone and the purple plus 16 and the magenta 24 going to the luminance here the 58 for the red, uh, red for and the orange plus 66 yellow plus 62 and green luminance plus 28 minus 22 for the aqua luminance and minus uh, plus 15 for the blue luminance and after that color grading most important thing which color will be in the shadow which color will be in the mid tone and which color stands for the highlight it defines with the color grading here the color grading uh, the hue is 0 and saturation is 15 for the shadow purpose and here if i go to the mid tone the mid tone value of the hue is 209 and saturation 28 sometimes it didn't get this slider if the triangle is like that and press this triangle and it will expand and you'll get the slider three slider hue saturation and luminance you know you which color will be percentage of the color is saturation and luminance is intensity for the highlight you are getting the value of the hue that means the color 67 and saturation 22 that's good and the optics geometry effects and the calibration here the calibration is three primary colors red green and blue here as well the hue of the red plus 52 and the saturation plus 26 and the saturation plus 6 and a blue primary minus 57 and saturation minus 11 that's it and hit the ok button i'll provide you that download link that means the preset or settings download link in my video description so after that you are getting the before and after like this and if i apply that preset in this type of photo going to the filter again and going to the camera filter after that going to the load settings options from here and here the retro you're getting the same settings but here uh, i'm just getting here too much dark that's why i'll add some shadow like that and exposure i'll add over there and now it's adjusted the before and after and hit ok 
so let's try another types of photo uh, going to the home here are some example photos uh, might be so this is the example photo and going to the filter again and from here going to the camera filter and if i go to the load settings options and from here retro and you are getting the same thing but need to change the exposure otherwise it will be darker and hit the ok button so you are getting this image or this preset by default and uh, let's see the lightroom how uh, the lightroom will act or react these things so lightroom uh, you know that the xmp file is supported in lightroom and uh, photoshop as well so this one is a benefited for using this type of xmp file so i'm importing some images uh, like this photo this photo and this photo and importing it so after importing the file i'll apply the preset over there in a developing mode going to the plus sign and import preset i have that preset and that is the retro preset and xmp file i'll import so here i found the retro preset and uh, which is like that and in this case you are getting the uh, highlight down and that's why i'll increase the exposure and adding adding some shadow like that you are getting the before and after so let's see the before one and after one you are getting the same effects and same settings over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm asmr signing out and have fun be healthy and don't forget to subscribe my channel give me in your prayers stay safe stay at home bye bye